Hi, Janisha. It's Miss Lawson. Um, I'm going to um, walk you through a couple of things in your research paper that are not correct. The one thing that can help you um, with your textbook project is the um, training or the entrance ticket. Everything in that training is actually done in the textbook. So if you've completed the training, you've done all the things that they're asking you to do already um, for the textbook assignment. So for instance, the first thing they show you in the training video is how to um, change a style. And one of the first things you have to do in your um, textbook project is to change a style. Now, um, the thing is, they want you to change it the way that they showed you. Um, if you were going to write a research paper before you ever started, you could set it up double space, 12 times New Roman, and that would be correct. But like I've told you before, they, um, they actually show you other ways to do things, and Sam wants you to do it that way. So um, I'm just going to kind of go through here and point out some things and um, let you go back and, and work on them. Okay, now the first thing I see is um, this is your header up here in this white space, and everything in the header shows up on every page. And what you're supposed to put in your header is the last name of the person who um, did the paper, then press the space bar, and then you're going to insert a page number. And by doing that, Word will number the pages for you. So if you have 500 pages, it'll automatically number them so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if you take part of your typing out or part of your research paper out, it'll renumber. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, that's done in your header. Now, um, you have in your header what should be at the beginning of the research paper. In other words, this is the person that wrote the paper. This is their teacher's name. This is the class. And this is the date. And you have it in the header. I'm going to click up here. Okay, see, if you need to work in your header, you just double click up there in, the, in that space. Um, so the Oswald from here to here actually needs to be moved down into your paper. The only thing in your header would be the person who wrote the paper, which I, is Oswald Carter, but you use his last name, spacebar, and then you're going to insert a page number. Okay, so that is the first thing that you might want to um, look at changing. So now I'm going to close my header and my footer. I can do it here, or I can just double click down here in this white space, and I'm back in my paper. Now your title looks good. Um, it's centered. So let's go back to the first thing I mentioned, the styles. What they want you to do is to change the style of the paper um, using their method so that when you when you first type in your paper, everything will be set up and you won't have to do anything extra. So the way they show you in the book, and again, go back and look at your training question one. This is your styles group. So they want you to click on the normal style. The normal style is what we use if we don't change anything. So normal style is um, Calibri 11, um, it's one and a half, 1.15 inches between the lines and there's space um, after each paragraph. So I'm going to go in there and right click on normal and I want to modify. So you're going to set yours up like a research paper. So we want it to be Times New Roman 12, um, excuse me, 12 and um, we don't have to worry about the font color, so let's go down to the format and change our paragraph. Click on that, it's going to bring up another box. Now here you want it to, um, you want to have no spacing after your paragraphs. So you want to make that zero. Not okay. And, um, whoops, I forgot to change the double space. Go back to paragraph. The line spacing should be double, which you have that, so okay, okay, all right. Um, 
Now, what I probably should have done when I did that, I probably should have highlighted the whole research paper because you've um, you've already done most of it. So let me go back and do that real quick. I'm going to highlight everything. And then I'm going to go normal, right-click, modify. Um, Times New Roman 12. Go to Format. Paragraph. No space after and double space. Tell it OK. And let's see if it changed anything. What? Just me looking at it because I know what it's supposed to look like. It's obvious to me that the lines between the um, the paragraphs, there was a little extra space. So if you would go back and look at it, um, it's just a tiny bit of space that has actually been erased. And this is the true double space. I think you already had it in Times New Roman 12 and double space. I think you just missed that. Remove the spacing after the paragraph. Okay, so um, so the heading looks good. It's centered. Now your um, your paragraphs in your document should be should all be um, indented 0.5 from the left margin. Now you can do that by doing tab, and it works fine. But the book wants to show you a new way to do it. So I'm going to highlight all your paper again. Okay. Oops, too far. Now I'm going to use the arrow, the rule. Excuse me. I'm going to use the little buttons on the ruler to move it over. Now um, you did it perfectly right here. You did that great. That's called the first line indent. I think what you might not have done. See, this one is too far over. It's not at the left margin. All of this. And I think that's at the left margin. So. First of all, I would um, click on a line left. Well, that didn't fix it. Let me see. Um, what this is set. Oh, what's happened? You've set a tab stop right here. You just click on that little L and drag it into the white space. And also, right here, you have. You didn't do the first line indent, but you you actually drug both of them over. What you need to do just the first line. So let me let me highlight all this again. I'll just do the whole paper. Um, drag it, drag it over to the beginning of the gray. It was a little bit too far, wasn't it? Let me undo that. Okay. So I'm going to drag all of this back to the um, yellow part, and I'm going to go and you got to be careful to just move this top um, part of this little thingy here. I don't know what it's called. Um, move it over half an inch, and it should you should have a half an inch or the first line of dent, which is a half an inch, and so you you've got that. Um, I think though, let's see, this is, you, you'll have to go back in your document now and change all this because I'm working from your corrected one. Um, now somewhere up here, where did I see that it was too far over on the, in the gray? Maybe I didn't see that. Maybe it's okay. No, see right here. I think I drug this a little bit too far. Okay, we can. Um, it might be over too far. Maybe it's just the way it looks on the page. But anyway, that's how you do the first line indent. Just make sure you only um, use that top little pointer thingy. Okay, so now it's looking right. Um, you've got double space, times in Roman 12, first line indent. Um, your citations, let's see if you've got a citation. Okay, here's one. Um, a citation is when you actually um, enter a source. Okay, 
Well, let me go. Let's see. Before we do that, let me show you how you do one. I'm going to practice with this sentence right here, which I don't think you have a period right there either. Okay. I'm just going to pretend. I'm going to insert a, um, a citation right here. And it's going to be a book. So I'm going to click on References. I'm going to, go to Insert a Citation. I'm going to add a new source. Now this is not in your textbook. I'm just using this for an example. Um, let's do a book. And I'm going to be the author. And this dog. 2000. Oops. 2000. It'll be 18. Um, so what you're going to do, you're just going to fill in. I hope you can type better than I can. You're going to fill in these um, fields. And hopefully you do a better job typing than I do. Um, be careful when you fill in these fields. If you misspell something right here, spell check will not catch it, but Sam will. So I'm going to click OK. And if you notice, there's my, um, it's called a parenthetical, parenthetical citation, which is basically means the person who you are referencing, um, you just put, their name goes at the end of the information, okay? So I'm going to undo that because you don't have me as a person. I think you need to go back here though and put a period. I don't see one, so that might be part of your problem. Um... Now, here's a citation that you put it put in. So let's click on it. Um, Mr. Two, two, whatever. So um, you've already done that one, but let's go up here to Insight, Insert Citations. And here is this source. I meant to click on Manage Sources, but I did not do, do that. Did All right, Manage Sources. Whoops. I have just keep putting the same source in there like they say don't do like I do um, if you need to change something you go to references insert citation and these are your citations you've done other than me um, but go to manage sources that'll let you um, make corrections to thing now to things I'm gonna click on my source that I put in I'm gonna delete it we don't want that there we don't want that in there anymore so for this one, uh, if you need to edit it, you just um, change the information in the fields and then tell it OK, and it should correct it. OK. Um, this is a footnote. It looks like this right here does not belong in this footnote. I'm not sure how it got there, but let's see if I can... Just hit the space bar. Nope. Well, I don't know how it got there. Let's see. You might have to just cut this um, and then paste it. I'm assuming right here. That's something that you're going to have to look at because you've got too much. Um, you had too much information in your um, footnote. So I'm going to get rid of these spaces here. Okay, it should look more like that. Um, you do need to move this over to the left margin. And again, I think it's because of this right here. Just drag it all to the gray area. And then it has to be first line indented. Okay. Um, I'm getting ready to run out of time. I'm going to um, save this and put it in in YouTube. And I'm going to send you the link so you can watch this and um, see if you can fix some of those things. And then we, when I see you in class on Monday, I can help you with... Um, more specific things, okay? Alrighty, um, so if you have any questions this weekend, just email me and I'll be glad to help you.